Hello, this is Dr. Amin Marashi, Retina Specialist in Marashi Eye Clinic in Aleppo, Syria. I am presenting the course of Structural Infus OCT, and in this presentation, I will uh, present structural infus findings for vitromacular interface abnormalities. Infus will produce a 3D image of the retinal surface following the concavity of its surface. This will help to diagnose the presence, size, distribution, and attachments of the epiritual membrane. ILM slab will look different depending on the thickness of the epiritual membrane and the induced tangential traction. ILM slab will show areas of number of adhesions. ILM slab will serve an important role when planning a pars plana vitrectomy for epiritual membrane removal. The epiritual membrane has unique patterns on infus. The pelic will appear as a plate on the ILM slab irradiating straight or and curved hyporeflective folds. Please note how the fovea is absent. Please note the blink artifact. Star folds can be one or multiple central and non-central uh, which looks like multiple hyperreflective foldings. Please note the blink artifact. Please note how the fovea is absent. Diffuse folding can appear as hyperreflective folding in the macular area. Please note the blink artifact. In some cases, the infus will appear foggy due to focus on the posterior hyoid or deeper tissues. Please note how the fovea is intact. In some cases, the fovea will appear intact, distorted, or absent. The ILM slab may not show any changes or will show straight or curved hyperreflective faults. However, in more advanced stages where the epiritual membrane is thicker and causing more distortion, the ILM slab will show more faults in the form of hyperreflective lines covering larger surface area and some cases can show window to the retina due to segmentation artifact please note the masking and blink artifacts the ipl inl slab will show mainly the intraretinal cystic changes if they exist please note the just uh, mentioned artifacts in some cases, a segmentation is needed to reveal the true extension of the epiritinal membrane. In some severe cases, the epiritinal membrane will induce projection artifacts on the RPE. ILM slab will serve an essential role in identifying the location, area of adhesions for safer grasping, determining the size and shape of the epiritual membrane, which is essential when planning to do a pars plana vitrectomy. The deeper the traction, more than 90 microns correlated to the uh, better uh, best corrected visual acuity, the more benefit from surgery, especially for cases without intraretinal cystic changes. In this ILM slab of epiritual membrane pre pars plana vitrectomy, please note the epiritual membrane distribution and attachments, along with the segmentation and blink artifacts. ILM slab will show changes post surgery to assess the structural outcomes. A post operative infus can show several dimples due to dis, uh, dissociated optical nerve fiber layer 30 days post surgery at the macular area of underwent ILM peeling. In cases of pseudo hole, the ILM slab will feature hyperreflective circle surrounded by another smooth circle, and radial folds will emanate, forming a sunflower pattern. Please note the blink artifact. IPL inal slab, the pseudo hole will appear more circular as it shows the base of the foveal verticalization. In cases of vitromacular traction, the ILM slab in mild cases will show no significant changes to a small hyperreflective circle. However, in more advanced cases, the vitromacular traction will appear as curved hyperreflective folds directed to the adhesion, which appear as a cluster of hyperreflective folds. 
However, in cases of toad vitreous, the ILM slab will show a membrane-like adhesion. Please note the blink artifact. The IPL ILM slab will show hyporeflective circular changes in the vitromacular traction cases is inducing intraretinal cystic changes. If not, the INL IPL slab will appear normal. Please note the blink artifact. In cases of a full thickness macular home, the ILM slab will show hyporeflective circle that can appear in different sizes according to the whole size resembling the hole and can show the epiretinal membrane a location or vitreous traction. Please note the blink and segmentation artifact. The IPL INL slab may show a hyporeflective circle surrounded by a hyperreflective border and then surrounded by cystic changes resembling the central full thickness macular hole and intraretinal cystic changes. The slab will show a prominent irregular hyperreflective borders in state 3 and 4. However, stage 4 may show hyperreflective highlighting. The cystic changes can arrange a symmetrical pitloid pattern and differentiate it from uh, the pseudo and lamellar hole. Please note the blink and segmentation artifacts. The RPE slab will show projection artifacts and show RPE alternation that look like uh, hyperreflective lesions, along with alternation in the form of hyperreflectivity in the level of photoreceptor layers in manually adjusted slabs. Please note the blink and motion artifact. The choroidal slab will show a projection artifact. NFAS OCT can be used to follow up patients with full thickness macular hole post surgery as it will show changes on both ILM and IPL INL slab that depict macular hole closure. As in this ILM slab, pre surgery shows macular hole and some blink artifact. The ILM slab post surgery shows closed macular hole. However, one of the main features of the ILM slab post surgery is concentric macular dark spots due to removing the bismuth membrane and its end feet, which are in close contact with the RNFL. Those macular spots appear three months post-surgery, and they are permanent, and they are not found in areas where ILM is not peeled. Therefore, Emphas OCT can be a non-invasive method to confirm the peeled ILM in emetropic patients. However, in myopic patients, the concentric macular dark spots may not be visible only mildly uh, years after surgery due to the uh, RNFL thin profile in myopic individuals. Please note the blink artifacts. In cases of lamellar hole, the ILM slab will appear as hyporeflective folds in addition to a hyporeflective dark circle resembling the hole in cases of a lamellar hole associated with vitromacular abnormalities such as an epiretinal membrane or vitromacular traction. The black bars are blank artifact. However, in degenerative cases, in absence of vitromacular abnormalities or cases with lamellar macular hole with hyperreflective epiretinal proliferation, the ILM slab will show a dark hyporeflective circle with irregular borders. Please note the blink and masking artifacts. The IPL INL slab will show a hyporeflective central irregular circle or sometimes cystic in cases of lamellar hole associated with interretinal schizes or cavitation with or without undermined edges. The pattern of hyporeflective circle will follow the radial composition of the Henle layer and molar cells. Please note the blink and masking artifacts. Please visit amretina.com, the retinal assistant module, for more online courses and online clinical guidelines where they are being updated regularly.